I have said it once, I'm going to say it twice. Subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Hey you all, I am back with another video. For those, for those who have seen the video before me actually pressing this, I have made a video that showed you all how I printed this using Microsoft Publisher. And I have made a video showing you how I place the images together. Now I'm just going to show you all how I press it. Or how, and this is my first time doing this. This image is a, uh, this image is a 15 by 15, I believe. Or is it 16 by 16? It's either a 15 by 15 or a 16 by 16. I probably think, I think I did a 15 by 15. I think the pillow is 16 by 16. So, I'm just going to show you all how I press it. Okay, so first of all, this is one of the sheets. It's best if you remove like this little excess paper. That way you can actually see where you're actually placing the image. If you don't move, remove it, it's a little harder to see. And also if you remove this, you can also tape it down due to me using a small heat press. I think this heat press is like a 15 by 15 that I'm using. And so what I do with my heat press, this heat press is a 15 by 15. So what I do with it is I take off the bottom piece, the back piece. Let me show y'all that. So first, what I'm gonna do before I start pressing, I'm going to put the design exactly where I want it to go on the pillow. I'm going to kind of smush the pillow down. Or squish the pillow down. Smush, squish, squeeze. I don't know. But. Do that first. And for this particular pillow, I don't want to use the. Yeah, I got stuff everywhere. I don't want to use the regular tape um, like I would. And other things, I prefer to use the heat transfer tape only because you don't have to worry about it being sticky or any of that. It doesn't leave a residue behind. So, I'm going to take the tape. And I'm going to just tape it, the paper and the pillow down where I want it to be at. And another reason why I'm taping, actually, I'm going to tape the top. I'm going to tape it in separate sections. I'm going to tape the top. And then I'll tell y'all why I'm taping it down in separate sections, too. So, I'm taping it down in separate sections because... This pillow will not fit entirely under this heat press. So I'm going to have to do a piece at a time to ensure that I get the whole image pressed on there. So I'm only taking this piece and I'm going to stick it on the top half of the piece of paper. And then I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to stick it on the bottom half. And I'm doing that to each side. I do see something that I don't like already. To me, it looks like it's on one side more than the other. So, I am just going to put this tape back on there partially. And I am going to move this over up and over so it can appear even because it didn't appear even to me at all okay so 
you do want to tape it down. You see, like when I get on the camera, I drop stuff, I get nervous. I don't know what's going on with me. Take it down. So now that I've taped it down, I have my heat press here. I'm just going to uh, place the pillow under it as far as it can go. place the pillow under there as far as it can go because I want to make sure that the edges are done so I'm going to kind of like not go all the way under but you can turn your pressure up you don't really have to being that this is a hundred percent polyester pillow and the colors are gonna pop as y'all would see in just a second Okay, so that should be done. I'm just going to make sure that the edges are done. And I kind of get a primary small amount of pressure. Pull it up. Turn it to the side. And I turn it to the side also. And I put the uh, other piece over there on the side. So that when I turn it, it doesn't tilt over because the presser will tilt over once I turn it. Okay, so I see that I've pressed all the way up to that line. I don't really want to repress that piece. So I'm going to try to bring it up. And another thing I do too, I go ahead and remove the top piece that I already printed. Because I no longer need that, so it's no make it easier for me not to try to keep up with too much. I can literally just get this little piece right here. So. Okay, so we're just doing the end now. And this polyester pillow, if y'all are wondering where I got it from, I got it from Five Below for $5. And that was around Christmas time. They hard to find. They might got more in stock, but this is the tag for it. But they were super cute. And they had these, the ones right here that's kind of fluffy. And then they had one that's a little bit smoother. But I end up getting these after they ran out of the ones that were smooth. Okay. 
so I didn't go further enough back. Hope that this doesn't mess it up, y'all. Because the baby face wasn't all the way on there. I hope it don't mess it up. Yeah, it kind of messed it up because it wasn't lined up anymore, but that's why you want to make sure that it's lined up and you want to kind of just go over a little bit more. So, I'll do it again and show y'all. So, as y'all can see how I missed that little piece. So... This one. this one should be perfect. This one shouldn't have problems. It's just because the baby head was kind of off from where I had it. tape on like that when I just should go from side to side. It makes it a lot easier. Just taking the tape. Let me show y'all what I mean. Just taking the tape and putting it like this. It makes it easier. And I'm going to do another one on the bottom pieces of it. Another thing that will help if you take your crafting paper and go ahead and split it, it'll let you know where you actually end it when you just press it. So if you want to just do that little half. See how my crafting paper stuck out? I'll be able to tell that this is the portion that I need to do. I didn't do that the last time, so now when I get ready to turn it, I'll be able to see. And I'll show y'all. And now the next piece right here, I know that it shouldn't go over the crafting paper. I remember so. I, I used to like these and drink them a lot. What's all this? Are they eating uh, yogurt? Oh. Okay, so now we did that part. We're just going to do this other piece. And as y'all can see, that's that. As y'all can see, because I did that crafting paper like that, I didn't miss a spot this time. I got the whole entire thing. So, I hope y'all like this video. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. 
um, and turn on your post notifications so you can receive uh, notifications once I upload videos. Until next time, bye.